Hi you guys. Okay, today I'm going to get right into the story. Okay, the story is about, is about a stupid man and the stupid man is my husband, but, but, today I'm going to do something different. I've told this story about a hundred times for a laugh at his expense. But today I'm going to tell the end of the story, the real story, the true story. Well, I've always told the true story, but today I'm going to add in an extra truth that will show that in the end, because of fear, because of panic, because of anger, I ended up being as stupid, if not more stupid than he was. Okay, this was also in New Mexico, and this was... Um, we had already uh, gotten a job and, or he had, he had a job and he was, uh, by this time, thank God, we had a property and um, a home and, um, and so we had to take care of the home. Well, and the property, gardening is not our thing, we found out later. But all his life, he, as long as we had lived in New Mexico, my husband had seen all the farmers burn their fields and he had had a secret desire to burn something burn the brush okay so i homeschooled and so i was always with my family which i loved which made us very very close but i always enjoyed getting into the bathtub for hours with a coffee with a book and just sitting there alone although they would come in and visit but okay that's a different story anyway um so my husband took advantage he took advantage knowing that i was going to be in the bathtub for hours and he said to the kids don't tell your mom he did that more than once but <laughs> but anyway so he went out and he started a fire he didn't account for, he's not a farmer, we're not farmers. He didn't account for the wind, the wind was blowing. He did not account for the fact that the hose was not attached. <laughs> you can see where this is going. And he did not account for the, um, oh, what was I gonna say? I, my mind just went blank, whatever. Okay, so he started the fire. And, oh yeah, he, did, he wasn't thinking and he did it close to the house. Okay, so all of a sudden, <laughs> the wind picked up and he started to get a little, I think he got some of his hairs on his arm or something singed and all of a sudden he wisened up and the kids came running into me. Mama, mama, daddy's about to set the house on fire. <laughs> and so I, put a towel around me or something. I forget how, how dressed I got. I went outstairs, down, I went down the stairs outside and I saw what he was doing. I saw the fire blowing towards our house. So I was so angry. I was so angry. So I went to the phone and I just picked it up, called 911 and said, my stupid husband. This is where the part, the end of the story that I, I became more stupid than my husband. Yeah. I said, my stupid husband is setting the house on, is setting the house on fire. He's burning. He's burning. And, and then I just left. I didn't tell them where we were or anything. I went out and I got a bucket and I was so upset that I banged the bucket and I broke the bucket. Talk about stupid, right? <laughs> there was no hope. But anyway, I don't know what happened, but finally he got the hose attached and he put out the fire. But come here, honey. I want them to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, honey. Thank I you. Love you so much. <laughs> Thank you for always allowing me to tell stories at your that's, expense. That's okay. <laughs> okay, now go so I can say goodbye. Okay. Anyway, I love you guys. You know what to do. Please subscribe, etc. I won't go into all that, but dream big and go for it!